Hi, this is Manmat. Welcome back to my channel. Now today's our topic is a food safety and quality objectives. What the GFSA standard says? The site senior management shall ensure that the clear objectives are defined to maintain and improve the safety, legality and quality of the foods manufactured in the facility in accordance with the food safety and quality policy of the standard requirements. The quality objectives shall be documented and include targets and clear measures of success. And also the quality objectives should communicate to the relevant team, relevant staff in the establishment. And the results of the quality objectives, the monitored results of the quality objectives should communicate to the site senior management at least quarterly. So these are the most of the GFSS standards says. The food facility senior management must set quality objectives concerning to the safety and quality of the products which helps to achieve the quality policy of the organization. So the quality objectives, the main aim is to achieve the, to help to achieve the quality policy requirements. The quality objectives should be SMART. Yes, SMART is an acronym. Yes means specific, M measurable, A attainable or achievable, R means relevant, T means time bound. Let us have a look. So the quality objective should be the specific means the quality objective should meet the site's aim. What you want to achieve, what you want to accomplish, it should related to the quality policy. So it should comply with the site's aim or site's requirement and what you want to accomplish you should have the clear you should have the clear clarity on what you want to accomplish and how you want to achieve the goal so the goal should be the specific so that's what s means how to achieve the goal specificity must be there the quality objective then the next one is measurable measurable means we should have a clear action plan how to measure the uh, how to measure the success how to measure the growth rate of the objectives so we have to establish we have to prepare plan with the targets so we have to prepare if 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 our goal is short term based three months target plan we have to define or if our goals are long term based then one year target plans we have to prepare so which should contain clear targets measures of success action plans and we have to identify the milestones we have to establish the milestones also to review the progress of the food safety quality objective whether we are gradually meeting or we are gradually approaching towards the targeted goal or not we have to review or every quarter or monthly review also we have to do the objectives quarterly objectives as per the GFSA system we have to communicate to the GFSA we have to communicate to the senior management that's what measurable and what about attainable or achievable when you establish a quality objective it should be attainable or it should be achievable means it should be reliable means you should have the resources or you should have the competent people if for example if you wanted to improve the quality conscious if you wanted to improve the quality consciousness of the employees food safety food quality point of view you have adequate resources adequate competent trainers so like that if if any goal you establish it should be achievable goal it should be realistic and the resources must be available if the resources not available you have to hire from the third party people to fulfill the requirements sometimes 
equipments may be required sometimes skilled manpower may be required so based on that we have to establish the goal whether the established goal is achievable or attainable or not if, if there is any gaps we have to prepare the action plan and bring it to the senior management notice so based on that you can progress then next one is r r means the goal should be relevant what is relevant the quality objectives main aim is to produce safety and quality of the food so the goals also whatever the goals you establish it should improve the quality of the product or it should improve the safety of the product so the goal should be relevant so improve the safety or quality of the product or the site's quality policy which helps to achieve the site quality policy then the last one is the quality objectives should have time bound we have to define the clear time clear measures of success either short term goal means you have to establish three months period or six months period or long term goals means one year period at what point will you meet your goal and measure benchmarks along the way your goal should be grounded within a time frame with no time frame there is no sense of urgency putting an end point on your goal gives you clear target to work towards remember goals must be measurable attainable and realistic once you set the goal then you have to prepare a checklist to achieve the goals so these are the some of the checklists to achieve the goals the first one is checklist for benchmarking and checklist to write it down checklist add target dates checklist identify key process indicators and checklist for outline steps checklist for share them with others checklist for review them regularly checklist for incentives celebrate progress now let us discuss about the checklist for benchmarking yes for example if we establish a goal means your goal is to reduce the customer complaints by 80% from previous year then what you have to do is you should collect the data of the complaints received from the previous year if suppose previous year if you receive 10 complaints or 11 complaints then you have to set the benchmark this is the benchmark 11 complaints from previous year and this year target is reduce the customer complaints by 85 or 80 percent from previous year then the complaints should not exceed two or more so this is what benchmark results and one more example improve the awareness of employees on food safety And one more example to reduce the rework 30% from previous year if for example previous year if you have produced a rework of about some 200 metatons then 30% or 50% reduce from the previous year then you have to collect the previous year data how much product you have reprocessed or repacked in your food facility so for example 200 metatons you have reprocessed or reworked then 50 percent reduce the rework it should be 100 metatons so like that we have to collect the previous data to establish the benchmark to measure the clear success or clear targets of the present goals checklist write it down the goal is not a goal unless you write it down so we have to prepare the plan and clear measures of success it should be achievable, measurable, attainable, relevant and time bound. So you have to prepare the plan and action plan, measures of success. Otherwise, you cannot achieve the goal. So checklist, write it down the goal in details. Then the third one is checklist for add target dates. For every food safety objective goals, you have to establish the target date of achieve 
so reduce the customer compliance 80 percent from the previous year then the target date december 2023 no that is wrong 31st december 2023 you write down or 30th november 2023 you write down but the date also you have to mention the next one is identify the key process indicators yes in the process line to measure the goals we have to identify the key process indicators like internal audit results third party audit results or external uh, monitoring results we have to identify and measure the uh, key apis in our goals compare in our goals progress then next one is outline the steps checklist for outline steps of the goal we establish the goal you have to prepare the action plan for the next week or for the next month or the coming quarter what you have to go to do and how how you want how you how you want to go into accomplish the goal how you achieve the goal so you have to prepare the action plan so that is what outline the steps for the coming months for the coming weeks you prepare the checklist and this share them with others yes you have to share your goal with relevant team members or include the include the team members include the new persons into the team who are relevant to the goals to achieve the goals then the another one is review them regularly we have to review the goals regularly monitor the goals regularly and the last one is incentives are celebrate the progress of the goals so we have to celebrate or we have to uh, give the some rewards or you, if the goal is ambitious too ambitious you make it into sub goals or you make it into mini sub goals if you if your goal is a uh, uh, large time means one year goal you split it into quarterly or monthly mini goals or mini sub goals once you achieve the sub goals you celebrate or you put the rewards or appreciations so that will gives you that will motivate the employees to establish another goals for the coming years and this is about the checklist for reaching the goals prepare the checklist that's all about the video friends if you like the video click the like symbol and subscribe my channel for regular updates thank you and bye bye